Yes. So I am an AMC A-list member, and what that means is that I get three movies a week for just nineteen ninety-five a month. And and uh, back in the day, I used to use it a lot. In fact, from December twenty eighteen to March twenty twenty, I saw a whopping. 177 movies in a 66-week period, which is just freaking astounding. And then the pandemic done messed all that up. But now I'm back to watching two movies a week because baby steps. So let's discuss the latest movies because it is time once again for Steve Stubbs of the Week! Da, 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 da. There you go. So this is my seventh week back in theaters this time around. And I have now seen 14 movies this time because Baby Steps. This week, I saw the following two movies in theaters. I was going to watch two different things, but this is how it went. This week, I saw The Suicide Squad and The Suicide Squad. Okay. Now, first, let's discuss the movie that was not chosen as my movie pick of the week. And that is The Suicide Squad. The second time. I saw it the first time, and I liked it so much that I immediately went and watched it again. And it, and here's the thing. I saw Midsommar uh, four times in theaters. I saw Midsommar four times in theaters. I saw Cats four times in theaters. I saw Captain Marvel Seven times in theaters. Yeah. I believe I saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse twice. Uh, Knives Out, I think I saw six or seven times. Uh, the Gentleman, I ended up watching that three times. I, I, If a movie is good, really, really good, I will have no problem watching it multiple times. That being said, uh, I watched Black Widow once in theaters. I will not be watching it again. There's no reason to. It's a good movie. It's fine. It's serviceable. I like the May Queen Florence pew 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 in it. And uh, that's about it. I don't really like the movie. And I don't want to see it again in theaters. But I'll see The Suicide Squad a freaking million times in theaters. Really? I, I, I saw Black Widow, and no, I was not a fan. Yeah, I liked Florence Pew 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 in it, but I see no reason to watch it again. I, I just, I'm not interested in watching it a, a second time. But The Suicide Squad, shit, son! I will watch that a bajillion times in theaters, and I have no problem with that really? at all. Yes, absolutely. So that's the movie that I did not choose as my movie pick of the week. And finally, <coughs> the Steve Stubbs movie pick of the week is The Suicide Squad! <coughs> okay. So what a spoiler, surprise! So spoiler alert, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen The Suicide Squad. Here's a spoiler. Harley Quinn's in it. What? Shocker! And everyone said John Cena was in it. I didn't see him. No. I didn't see him. There was one character that was talking, and I saw an invisible body, but I didn't see, didn't see John Cena. That's a wrestling joke. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, one thing that I like, and this is a small time... Spoiler, because I am spoiling something, but also it happens nine minutes into the movie, so it's not that far of a spoiler. They do a psycho. Now, and I was telling Natasha about this, and she's like, what do you mean doing a psycho? And I explained it to her that, like, oh, psycho starring Vivian Lee. Vivian Leigh? Vivian? Vivian Lee? Janet Lee. Lee? Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Sorry, Janet Lee. Psycho. It's it's all it's Janet Lee. This is gonna be amazing. You're gonna love it, Janet Lee. And then like 
25 minutes into the movie, she fucking dies. And you go, what? Who the fuck? What's happening now? And then it, it, it shifts focus to the people who you will actually be, who are actually the stars of the movie. Yes. Uh, Quinn Tarantino did that with Death Proof, and I really like that. You really get to know these characters, and then they die like, you know, 45 minutes into the movie. And you're like, fuck! Okay! And then here's this oh, whole other but I, I, like, shit. I hated that. I hated All that whole yeah. first, pack, first group of girls. Yeah. So bad, they were so obnoxious that I really, really enjoyed seeing that one take a tire to the face. Yeah, and you know, uh, which I... is kind of what I love about Death Proof because then you come into the second round of girls, and I fucking love them. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. them so much. I love that whole movie. That whole movie is really good. Really, really good. Uh, uh, the movie was so good that in certain foreign markets, they they dumped the Grindhouse shit and just released it as Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. Yeah. And 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 in Grindhouse, there's a scene where the girl's like, "I'm gonna give you that lap dance," and then. Uh, there's a scene missing, and then it cuts to after the lap dance, but in the foreign markets where they just got it as a standalone film, the lap dance is in there. Yeah. And it, it's really interesting. Uh, so anyway... In I the, had, in, I'm so fucking disappointed, man, because I had a cam rip of Grindhouse. And that's freaking first, wonderful, because you get the audience. When it first came out, and this was the, I mean, cam rips tend to suck. But this was yeah. just, yes, this was just awesome. You're, you're sitting there, you're watching the movie, people are getting up and getting popcorn, and you're shouting lines at the fucking screen, and I was like, this is perfect. Yeah, that's the 100% best way to watch a fucking movie. To watch that movie. Yeah. yeah. You need the audience, yeah. Uh... So they do a psycho like 10 minutes in the movie. In the beginning, you meet this one badass character. And that badass character joins the Suicide Squad. And, oh, you, you get to know the characters, and here's all of these people. And then 10 minutes into the film, there's the credits. And now here's the people who you will actually be paying attention to. And I really like that. Uh, a surprising, uh, su some surprising people die in this. I was really it. It's obvious that they gave James Gunn one hundred percent free reign to do whatever the fuck he wanted, because some people yeah. die in this film. But I'm like, oh shit, you died? Okay. Oh, you died too? Wow. Okay, I liked you. Okay, fucking shit. Okay. Uh. And good, good, good for you, John Cena. Shit, you're amazing in this movie. And uh, I saw the Bumblebee movie, which somehow was a Transformers movie that didn't suck. And you were all right in it. And, like, good for you. Every time I see John Cena in a movie now, I think the same thing, which is, thank God he wasn't a good rapper. Because <laughs> he released an album. And he, and he sang his own theme song when he came out to the ring, his own ring entrance music. And, and like... Oh, thank God no one wanted to hear him rap, because he's a pretty good actor. And also, what an amazing world we live in, where The Rock had the number one movie in America, but it was bumped off by a John Cena movie. <laughs> Shit! Never thought we'd get here. No. Like, like, Hulk Hogan is the number one movie in America. Oh, you know who beat it? I don't know, fucking Ric Flair. The Big Show movie, like, fucking, that's amazing that we have two big-time former wrestlers. You know, step up your game, Batista. Yeah. 
he's going to be in Dune soon. Like, okay. That, it, it's just, it's surprising, you know? Oh, the opening credits for the, the Suicide Squad, they used the song People Who Die by the Jim Carroll Band. And yeah. I got so excited because, like, I fucking love that song so yes, much. Is. And here's James Gunn using a song that I fucking know, and I got so fucking hyped for the rest of the movie because they used that one song. And, oh, it was so good. And uh, I really liked the film. It didn't do – it's the number one movie in America, but also – it didn't do that much in the box office, and some like talking heads are like, "Oh, uh, it, the Suicide Squad, a suicide flop? Why didn't this film make more money? Oh, is it because they gave James Gunn too much free reign? Is it because DC movies just aren't successful in the box office? Is it because Hollywood is finally uh, getting bored with comic book movies? No, it's because there's still a fucking pandemic, you fucking idiot." <laughs> Off. Every time I go to the movies, I think the same thing. These shouldn't be fucking open. Yeah. I mean, there's people are still fucking dying. Yes. It's fucking ridiculous. That's why the Suicide Squad didn't make as much money. It's because as much as uh, society wants to ignore it, the pandemic isn't fucking done. No. Fuck. And the low box office receipts of every movie that's being released right now is fucking proof of that. If this was a normal summer, this movie would be making massive amounts at the box office. But we're still in a fucking pandemic. It didn't make a lot of money. But God damn it, I'll watch The Suicide Squad a bajillion times. It's, it's a Suicide Squad movie, and it's also very much a fucking James Gunn movie. And the bad guy is Starro, Starros, the fucking dumbass giant starfish alien monster from the DC universe. Okay. He was in the cover of the first ever Justice League, I think, and they're all fighting the big giant alien starfish, and it's the one superhero, supervillain character in the DC universe that like, oh, no one could ever do this in a movie. And James Gunn said, hold my beer. Yeah. So, and, and they did it in a really interesting way, and it's just, it's such a good movie, and I really loved it, and I, I might go see that four or five more times in the theater, because it's just so much goddamn fun. It's, uh, it's, Bell- it's a DC movie, so I, I, I don't want to like it, but it's James Gunn, so I think I'm gonna. It's so good. I, I, I've, Tech? I, I've heard nothing but good things about this movie, and I find that rather yeah. upsetting. Technically, technically, it's James Gunn's second DC movie because I know it's not a super. I know it's not a DC movie. With finger quotes, I know it's not technically a DC movie, but we all know what he was trying to do with Brightburn. Yeah. We all know who that's supposed to be. There's no beating around the bush. The Suicide Squad is James Gunn's second DC movie. There you go. So, yeah, that's the Suicide Squad. I already have my tickets for next week. Next week, I'm going to see Deadpool starring in the movie... Free Guy, which might be really good and might suck ass, I'm not sure. And the Aretha Franklin biopic, Respect, starring a woman that is already Jennifer Hudson, and already they're saying an amazing performance, incredible, I smell Oscars, will this sweep the Oscars? And apparently, we've all just ignored the fact that her last movie was as a singing homeless cat with a perpetual runny nose, in one of the worst fucking movies of all time, but yeah, I guess it's Oscar season for yeah. Jennifer Hudson. So that's upsetting to me. You probably can't tell because I keep it in so well. You but do. yeah, you join do. us next week for more up-to-date movie reviews with Steve Stubbs of the Week and Cut on That.